The life of Blessed Jose Gregorio Hernandez is full of fascinating anecdotes, which 102 years after his death continue to be proof of his holiness. When the people would go for a medical visit, he would set out his hat and invite anyone who could pay to place the money there, and those without money were invited to take the money from the hat. Pino Esposito wrote the book Dr. Jose Gregorio Hernandez Cisneros, A Good Samaritan in the Streets of Caracas, the first book in Italian about the life of the new blessed. With a unique narrative style, he recounts Jose Gregorio's experiences as if he had witnessed them firsthand, either as a friend or curious bystander. One of them is how the blessed came to understand that his vocation was not to the priesthood. He talked to his bishop and the bishop told him, Look, Gregorio, you are a great doctor and scholar. And right now, Venezuela needs Hernández the doctor more than it needs Hernández the priest. Father Pino Esposito says that even the beatification ceremony was marked by the Blessed's personality. Maybe there could have been more participation, but his personality was like that. He was reserved, discreet. He liked to avoid the spotlight. The Venezuelan Blessed's impact is felt even in Rome. Pope Francis recently declared him the patron of the cycle of studies of peace sciences at the Pontifical Lateran University. It's perhaps a sign of hope for the people of Venezuela struggling through a humanitarian crisis. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.